Hello, my friends. My name is Aki. So I just 3D printed this very fun uh, and popular mechanical dice, but I want to test it out if this dice is actually fair, uh, AKA if it's truly randomized. Uh, the mechanism behind it is quite simple, but together it just works very satisfyingly. So I will be testing out its randomness and I will be sharing the results with you guys. The way we're going to do it is I'm going to roll the die a bunch of times, uh, 120 times to be precise. And I will be writing down each number that came up. And after that, I will count how many times each number show up. Now for a fair dice, each number should come up around 20 times. If I wrote a total of 120 times, because that's one sixth of a probability, uh, then I will check my count to see how close they are to that expected number. To get a better idea, I will also be using the chi-square test. What it really is, is a simple mathematical formula that will help us determine if the differences in my counts are just random luck or if there's something off with the die. And in the end, I will look at the results. If the numbers are pretty close to what I expected, then the die is likely to be fair. And if not, it might have some bias to it. So let's see what happened. Okay, so this is the setup. On the left column, we have the dice value and it's gonna be from one, two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the right column, it's gonna be the count. For each occurrence, I'm gonna be putting down lines to keep track of them. So begin. So the first one is four. I'm gonna put a strike at four. Number two is six, three. So I'm just gonna repeat this for 120 times and hopefully I don't miscalculate and lose track of things, which happened one time already. This is my second take. So let's see. One eighteen. 119, 120. Okay, so we just rolled the dice 120 times. Now I'll be calculating how many counts for each dice value and I'm gonna put it on the far right column. And by far, just by looking at it, three has the lowest occurrence out of all. So there might be something going on, but we don't know yet until we run our calculation okay so this indeed it's a hundred and twenty times in total and these are how many times each value occurs on the right column okay so now we have the accounts for each face value but to further investigate if the dice is a truly randomized dice we now going to run the chi-square test so the formula don't worry about the formula just let me do the calculations for you and you will find out at the end. But in case you're curious, this is what the formula looks like. And we're just going to be plugging these numbers in and we're going to expand the equation a little bit. And at the end, we're going to be able to get the X squared. But again, sit back, relax, grab a popcorn as I calculate. Okay, so after running the numbers, we got a chi-square value of about 9.5. Now we just need to compare this to a critical value, which is 11.07 uh, for our test. Now don't ask me what this 11.07 is. By chi-square test, this is the threshold for a significance level of 0.05. Now, since what we got, it's 9.5, which is less than 11.07, the threshold. So that means that we don't have enough evidence to say that this dice right here is unfair. Uh, what that means is it looks like the dice might actually be fair. Pretty interesting, right? But I do want to share something that I noticed while rolling the dice. Uh, I felt like there were moments when I could kind of control the outcome by timing how long I held it before releasing it. 
Uh, maybe it was just coincidence, but it definitely seems like I could influence the die a little bit just by timing it. Uh, please let me know down in the comments if you can experience something like that as well, being able to control this dice. So yeah, in conclusion, after rolling the dice for 120 times and running the chi-square test, uh, I decided that the 3D printed mechanical dice is not only fun, but also a fair dice. Did this outcome match what you expected? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I would love to see you in the future videos.